Hi folks, Klaus here from Guitar Habits. Today we're gonna do a short, mid-easy classical guitar piece that I think you're really gonna enjoy. Let's dive in. We start with the E minor chord. So you put your second finger on the A string, second fret, and your third finger on the D string, second fret. For the right hand, we use the thumb on the low E string, the A string, and the D string. Those are your bass strings. For the G string, you use the index finger. For the B string, you use the middle finger. And for the high E string, you use your ring finger. So in this classical, short classical guitar piece, we start off with the E minor chord and you go low E, A, D, G, B, high E. So you go thumb, 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 index, middle, ring, like this. So you just drop that thumb downwards like that. And then I got all those three fingers already on the strings, on the G, B and high E, and I go thumb, 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 and pluck the higher three strings, like that. You should just roll off the strings like that. So, once you did that, we go with the first finger on the high E string, second fret, and then with your ring finger here, the right hand, you pluck that string. And then now you skip the second finger here, but you place your third finger on the high E string, third fret. So with your first finger, second fret, high E string, and then with your third finger, third fret, high E string. So you got this middle finger for the next chord. So you, so you do that, both with the ring finger. So we got. Okay, from this angle. And then, so now we got that middle finger, we can place it right up here on the A string, third fret, and you put your first finger on the D string, second fret. And then we go A, D, G, B, high E. From this angle, A, D, G, B, high E. And then we go back. So once you hit that high E, then we go back B, G, D. So from the A string all the way down to the high E string and then back up again all the way up to the D string. Here we go. Like that. So now we got first the E minor chord. And then that's nice. Wow, and then here, we put our first finger on the G string, fifth fret, your third finger on the D string, seventh fret, and your fourth finger on the B string, seventh fret. And we play also, just like with that, this is a C major seven chord. You also play from the E all the way down up to the high E string and back to the D string. So you go A, D, G, B, high E, B, G, D. Okay, from the top. Place our third finger, uh, sorry, your second finger on the low E string, third fret. And we go low E, D, G, B. Low E, D, G, B. Then you move it back half step, so it's now on the second fret, low E string. You place your first finger on the D string, first fret, 
and your third finger on the G string, second fret. And again, you do the same thing. You also go low E, D, G, B. So first here on the third fret, low E string, and then. Nice sounding chords. Okay, from the top, here we go. This angle, slowly. The second part start with that E minor chord all the way up uh, from the low onto the high E string E A D G B high E then you put your third finger start now on the high E string third fret and then your first finger on the second fret so with your ring finger, your third finger on the high E string third fret, and your first finger on the second fret. So it's the other way around. And then we get that second finger free, available to place it on the A string third fret, and second first finger on the D string second fret. And then we add another finger. So we got this, these two fingers here, up here. And then you place your third finger on the B string third fret, like that. And then we go from the A string all the way up to the high E string and back to the D string. Here we go. So it's A, D, G, B. High E, B, G, D. And with that E minor chord. Then again, we play this beautiful sounding chord. First finger on the G string, fifth fret third finger on the D string 7th fret and your fourth finger on the B string 7th fret and then you go A G B or sorry A D G B it's only the middle four strings then you place your second finger you add your second finger on the low E string 7th fret. You remove your 4th finger and you place your 1st finger on the B string 5th fret. And you play. Ooh, that's nice. So you go low E. D, G, B. So let's repeat what we have here. First finger on the B string, fifth fret. Second finger on the low E string, seventh fret. And your third finger on the D string, seventh fret. Mm -hmm. And you go E, D, G, B. So you first get this chord right here. Then second finger remove the fourth finger and drop the first finger onto the B string fifth fret then add after that add your fourth finger on the G string eighth fret 
And again, play low E, D, G, B. So we got at that four finger on the G string, eighth fret. And again, we go low E, D, G, B. So for that third chord, we got first finger B string, fifth fret, second finger low E string, seventh fret, third finger D string, seventh fret, fourth finger G string, eighth fret. And we finish here with an E, E minor nine chord. So we've got our first finger on the A string, second fret, and your fourth finger, your third finger on the D string, fourth fret. And then with my right hand, I go with that index finger. I just go up one string at a time. And that thumb is already here on the low E string, so I go like this. And then once I hit that, last note I drop down the thumb like that mm, from this angle here just flow it up like that and then all the way and I'm down you have to practice it a few times before you uh, get the hang of that but it takes some time, but suddenly, hop, there it is. It's a nice way to finish your song. Okay, second part, again, we ha have the E minor chord. Let's do the whole piece from the start, slowly from this angle. Here we go, starting with the E minor. mention that third chord here it's in the E minor six and we got here uh, this piece like so this is like from the G chord and then we got it's like a B7 with an uh, F sharp in the bass so we call that you call that a B7 over F sharp um, if you have any questions about the chords or anything you can uh, ask me in the comments um, and also if you like this kind of thing do you like the classical guitar pieces along with the blues licks and uh, the the chord melodies do you have any other ideas for me let me know in the comments like and subscribe and i see you in the next lesson